Okay, this video will show you how to take an iPhoto slideshow and burn it onto a DVD using Toast so you could watch it in any DVD player. First thing you need to do is open iPhoto and here's all our pictures in iPhoto. I'm sure you'll have plenty more. I just have a few for this example. And what you're going to do is basically select the pictures that you want for your slideshow. So I'll select this picture and if you want multiple pictures in a row here, say up to this picture here, hold down the shift key and click and it'll select everything uh, going that way. And then if you want to select additional pictures, uh, hold down your command key on which is right next to your space bar. It's got the little apple on it. Uh, and you can select additional pictures as well. So we'll select these great shots and at the zoo here. And basically now we've got our pictures all selected here that are going to be in our slideshow. So now we got to go down here to the plus sign, click on that. And up here a window pops open. We want to click on slideshow. We can name it whatever we want. It's going to use the selected items in this slideshow. And we create it. And now over here we have a new slideshow with all the images that we just selected. If you want to move these images around the way that they're going to appear in your slideshow, just click and drag on them, put them anywhere you like. And so that looks good. Those are the images we're going to use. <clears throat> you have a couple of uh, options to choose down here. You can set your transitions. So you could play around with those. I usually leave it as the uh, default which is the dissolve. Uh, I recommend turning the Ken's, Ken Burns effects on and uh, going into your music if you want to put this slideshow to music click on this and it will find all your music inside of your iTunes library or anywhere on your computer basically. So this is the new Dave Matthews. We'll put this song in here. Click OK. Now we've got some music in there and if you click on this settings tab you have some uh, additional choices to make. You can play your slides for as long as you like here. Set your speed of transition. I'll turn off repeat slideshow. And, uh, you know, again, go in and play with these settings. And because you get to preview your slideshow to see what it's going to look like. You click this play, and your slideshow will start playing. Um, and basically, preview will just preview the selected slide. So now that we have our slideshow the way that we want it, what we do is we go up to File, and we go to Export, and we export the movie. I'll just name it FLA Trip, and I'm just going to save it to our desktop. And make sure you leave this large at 640 by 480. Okay, we go to Export, and iPhoto will figure everything out and create our slideshow and it will put it on our desktop and then basically what we do is we take that movie and we will bring that into Toast and burn that onto a DVD that again will be able to play uh, on any inside of any DVD player for your TV or you could play it on a Mac or a PC computer as well if they have a DVD drive. So it's exporting the slideshow and now that's done and here it is we could double click on it and watch a little bit of it if we wanted to. Okay looks good I'll quit that and we can actually now quit uh, iPhoto as well. So now let's open up Toast I have the latest version of Toast here. Uh, if you have an older version, that's fine too. It'll still work. So what you want to do is go to your video tab uh, and select DVD video. If you roll over this little eye, it tells you exactly what it's, what it's capable of doing. And then you have some choices down here as well. So if you had a bunch of, if you created a, say you created a bunch of slideshows, you could put them all inside of a, a menu here and you have multiple choices. Uh, for this, I'll just choose no menus, 
and autoplay uh, the disc and play all the movies. If I had multiple movies, it, it could it's capable of playing them all one right after the other. I'll leave uh, encoding at automatic and the video quality at best. Uh, so now all we need to do is take our movie that we just created, our slideshow, drag it into here, and here it is. If you go to edit, you can choose different names and all this kind of stuff, but uh, you really don't need to do anything inside of there. Here we just have our one movie. If Again, if we created multiple slideshows, we could drag them all in here and they would all be listed and they would play in the order that they are listed. And then all you need to do is make sure that you have DVD set. Click on your record button here and a window pops open and just uh, put a DVD, a blank DVD um, in there and click on record and you've got yourself uh, after a little while of the computer doing its thing uh, it will burn your slideshow onto a DVD and you'll be good to go. So that's uh, how easy it is to create a slideshow for my photo and burn it onto a DVD using Toast.